Cut hey. off these niggas' hands, cause I don't care if they don't feel me. Young nigga don't go, no, I ain't stopping, I ain't yielding. Y'all don't know the bitch. Man, I don't know the ball game. They said I won't make it, they all lame. My pockets, they used to be all chains. If they hoe in the past, my time changed. Say no bitch, don't. What's happening? What it do? Welcome back to the crew. And today, man, we got Miss Monique on Kevin Hart. You know what I'm saying? Club Shay Shay interview. This was highly talked about. You know what I'm saying? There was this was a highly requested video y'all wanted me to tap into. So I had to do exactly that, man. See what's going on with this whole situation. I heard it's a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Kevin getting getting discredited a lot. You know. Cat Williams had talked his talk about him. Now Monique talking his talk about him. So if everybody's saying the same thing, it must be right. So we're going to see what she's saying. But before we tap into this video, man, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the post notifications on. Join the family. Join the crew. So we can make it do what it do. You support me and I support you. You feel me? So let's get at this, man. That's my dog drinking water, bro. Shoot. Yeah. Kevin Hart, mm -hmm. I do his um, podcast. Yes. And I want y'all to re-listen to the podcast so you can hear it for yourself. When he first comes on, he says, you're like my mother, you're like my aunt, mm. you're like my sister. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we do the podcast. We speak about the Tyler Perry situation. Oprah Winfrey, he said, I don't really know Oprah, but I'm going to reach out to Tyler. I appreciate that. Kevin kept his word. He reached out to Tyler Perry. Kevin Hart called me back about maybe a week or so later. He said, Mo, I talked to Tyler. He said he don't want to revisit it. He said, but I tell you what, let's move past that, Mo. Let's just move past that and let's just do great things. So whatever That's you, what Kevin said. I want you to hear me, Kevin Hart. Let's move past that, Mo. Let's do some great things together. Don't even worry about it. Whatever y'all want to do, I will partner with you. I'll executive produce with you. You just let me know what you want to do. Now, let me say that before we go any further, because okay. I want to make sure I give Kevin Hart his proper credit. When my family was up against the wall, Kevin Hart wrote us a check and said, here you go. We're forever grateful for that. When we were able to give it back, we said, brother, we appreciate you with some interest on top because I don't ever want nobody to think like me and my husband. Yeah, yeah. So I want to make sure I put that out there. That was, that brother really helped us out when we needed to be helped out. Then when he came back with... I Sound like she got good shit to say about Kevin. You know what I'm saying? You know, Cat was basically saying he was a sellout and he was an industry player or whatever. But it sounded like Monique got some good shit to say about Kevin. It sounded like Kevin... I'm saying was doing some good deeds and doing some good justice with uh, Miss Monique. You know what I'm saying? I got you. I didn't Maybe ask Kevin Hart to do anything. Do it, he said, I'll executive produce. I'll partner with you. I said, good shit, Kevin, because we're in a deal with Endemol. And we're trying to get our talk show back. Mo, whatever it is, I got you. Now, Kevin Hart is one of the biggest entertainers right now in the world. Correct. right? And was then. We got off the phone with Kevin Hart. We called in the mall immediately and said, Kevin Hart said, whatever we want to do, he got us. He's going to partner executive use. They was like, oh, this is incredible because when you put Kevin Hart name on it, you already know what it is. Correct. Two weeks go by. We get a call from in the mall. In the mall says, we just got a call from Kevin Hart's manager, Dave Becky. And Dave Becky said, Kevin doesn't want anything to do with Monique. So whatever she told y'all, he doesn't want to do anything with her, nothing. You know, he doesn't want any any kind of relationship with Monique. So what changed between the two weeks and when, and, and plus he gave you a check, you gave the money back, then said he would partner with you, executive produce, whatever you need. Hey, I got to point this out, though. This nigga Shannon Sharp, for This nigga don't went from damn near no followers on his podcast to like, yeah, like three mil now, bro. And I'm, every since that Cat Williams joined, this shit just blew the fuck up. Demo, hey, we got you. So what transpired, or what do you think transpired between then that two that two week period? Well, soon as we got off the phone and they told us what Kevin manager David Becky said, I called Kevin Hart immediately. I said, Hey, baby. We just got off the phone with Endemol, and they said Dave Becky called them up and said, You don't want anything to do with me. He said, Mo, that's that's a miscommunication. I can tell you right now. I said, wait a minute. Are you okay, though, with this white man calling them up? Getting in between our relationship after something you said. He said, Mo, I'm, that's a miscommunication, and we're going to talk Tuesday. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's a miscommunication. 
That was two years ago. If you talk to him, I talk to him. I've never talked back to Kevin Hart again. So that's what we're faced with. When you allow somebody to come in between a relationship with a woman that you said, I'm like your mother. You said, I'm like these things. I didn't ask you for that. So everything that that baby was saying sitting here, everything he was saying was on the up and up. Because when you hear people say, get the anger out your heart. Oh, man, no one's saying he's lying. No one ever said I was lying. It's so easy to discount and devalue because of what we look like. Right. However, when it comes to Tyler Perry, I will not allow you to discount or devalue because that is your voice on that audio. Mm -hmm. Remember on Good Times mm -hmm. when Penny's mother was whooping up on yeah. her and then and she had recorded it? Mm -hmm. That's you on tape. So how does it go from you saying you're going to give me an apology to now I owe you an apology? But what do you want an apology for? What, what, what could I possibly owe you an apology for when you've admitted? See, when Lee Daniel says to me, because Cookie from the, the show Empire, yeah. I was offered that role. Now, Taraji tore it up, baby. Right. It, listen right. here. However, I was offered that. Then Felita called me back and say, baby girl, they said you're too difficult to work with. But you hear on the audio that a man told David Talbert I was difficult to work with. Do you see how that right. cost yeah. my family? Yes. And with no accountability? Yeah. Because, oh, it's the great Tyler Perry? No, you've got to be accountable for that. Oprah Winfrey, you've got to be accountable oh, for the things shit. you've done with my family. You've got to be accountable for that. Is there any relationship between you and Tyler and you and Oprah currently? No. When we have our juggernauts, Oprah Winfrey, Tyler Perry, Steve Harvey, the Kevin Hart. These are our juggernauts of our community. These are the people that our babies say, when I grow up, I want to be that. Yes. I want to be like that. Mm -hmm. So we have to call those people to the mat and say, listen, what are you teaching our babies? You're feeding poison because you're showing them your private jet. I'm going to show you my mansion. I'm going to show you my fancy cars. But my character is shot and I'm bankrupt. I got a lot of money in my bank. It's more zeros than some of them can, than we can imagine. But their character, they are bankrupt. Now nah, that's deep right there. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker could be rich as shit, have everything they want. But like she said, character could be bankrupt. Motherfucker don't got no morals, no no principles, no don't stand on no business. They just a straight asshole. Like demeanor just straight horrible. Like just a horrible person. You feel me? So. It's some shit like that, bro. Like, I be hearing a lot of shit about uh, Mike, Mike Jordan, too, bro. They say the niggas are, you know what I'm saying, niggas are straight assholes and shit like that. So, like, it could be like that. You got more zeros in the bank account than motherfuckers can imagine, but character just not there. You're an asshole, bro. Those are bankrupt people. So, everybody that Cat sat right here and told you about, I can't wait to see your next interviews with those people. Huh. They ain't coming on now, Mo. Invite them. I have. They not gonna do it. Well, look, I've already done Steve. I have a relationship with Steve. He do him again. <laughs> do him again, and I'm gonna say this. I'm trying to get Oprah and uh, and Tyler though. Baby, we got him. Y'all, come on, stop playing. They ain't coming on more fakes to you. You know how. And I don't want to put you on a spot, but I'm gonna say it because <laughs> I appreciate you as a black man and what you're doing. Thank you. If you are my friend, mm -hmm. and someone says to me, Monique Shannon Sharp wronged me, and you my friend, yeah, I'm going to call my friend. You can come to me. And I'm going to say, hey, is what they saying true? And if you get to him and Han, I'm going to tell you, till you fix it, you and I can't talk. Because if you'll do them that way, you do the it'll be a matter of time way. before you do it to me. So if Steve uh, Harvey sure. is your friend, mm -hmm. You call your friend up and you ask him, is what our sister saying right, man? Because if it is, we can't do that to her. If that's our sister. See, it took a transgender named T.S. Madison. It was a guy named Jamaica Carter. We, Jamaica Carter and our mutual friend. Jamaica Carter and our friends. Mm -hmm. T.S. Madison was a mutual friend. Mm -hmm. So Jamaica called me and said, would you mind doing T.S. Madison's show? I go do T.S. Madison's show. When I tell T.S. Madison when the camera cuts, I said, listen. 
your friend is wrong. She said, Monique Lee Daniels is my friend. I said, then you need to call your friend and tell him to fix this shit. She said, I will. Within a couple of days, who did I get a call from? Lee, Lee Daniels. See, that's a friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a true friend that's saying, I, I love you so much that I want to make sure that's not on your heart or your conscience. Let's fix it. Let's make it right. So when people ask Lee now, when we did the deliverance together, how was it to work with Monique? What? It was as if we had never parted ways because he fixed it. He owned it and he took accountability for it. I can't now keep you to the cross because you've owned it. Right. I've had to be forgiven. Right. So I appreciate mm -hmm. the, that someone had grace and mercy with me. So I'm going to have that with other people when they take accountability for what they've done. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never right, know so, who's going So basically, you feel me? That nigga, uh, that nigga Kevin really a sellout then, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm getting out of this. Kevin ain't a solid nigga. He ain't a thorough nigga. And he from Philly and you ain't thorough. Like, how you not a, how you not a, how you not a thorough boy, man? You know what I'm saying? And you from Philly? Nah, that's, that's crazy right there. It's a lot of shit that coming out about people we ain't know about. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit coming out, man. But, hey, that's a wrap for this video, man. You know what I'm finna say? Stay motivated, stay positive. When you woke up today, keep a smile on your face. I need my pay right away Homie, if it's smoke, better stay out my way Vamos, vamos, uh